Alright, I'm back. Uh, I think somebody's playing the piano, actually. Like, you hear that? Like, somebody's actually playing the piano. It's not a, it's not background music. Isn't that cool? Without warning, a frigid wind blows through the apartment. The chill cuts through your clothing, raising goose flesh all over your body. Where is that coming from? Sweet. There's another blast of cold and a pale and imposing woman materializes out of thin air. A throng of blank-faced men and women materialize alongside her. Ah, the little dog who's been sniffing around Neville Mars affairs. Her voice is imperious, arrogant. Ku Feng, I presume. She nods. Just so, my servants have been watching you since you arrived. I suspect that you are an evil man and that you are here to harm here to do harm to Neville. And so I came to stop you. Use astral perception to read the woman's aura. You focus your vision on the astral plane and expand your senses to take in the woman's aura. Black shadows color her essence, the kind of markings often found in the auras of terminal cancer patients and vampires. I think that I know your secret. She raises an eyebrow. Oh, and what do you intend to do with this knowledge? Uh... I don't know. I think that I need to know more about you before I decide. A wise decision. Acting without knowledge is the mark of a fool. Know then that I am Ku Feng, and that my servants have been watching you since you arrived. You think yourself so clever, sniffing around Neville's affairs like an amateur detective. So sly, so quiet. But you are not quiet enough to escape my ears, little man. Uh, I couldn't be less interested in hurting Neville, lady. I'm just here to finish a job. If that is true, then it is a shame. You have seen my face and you know what I am. Naturally, I cannot allow you to leave. And you can't afford to fight me here for fear of police involvement. She lifts her chin imperiously. Perhaps we can settle this in a more civilized manner. A face off in a neutral location where you accept my challenge. <laughs> Are, you Are you for real? Are you for real? A duel at midnight works for me. Very well. She steeples her fingers. As for the terms, if I win, you willingly submit to my influence. You become my pawn. And if you win... If I win, you'll already be dead. <laughs> she nods, grinning. Wait 15 minutes for the sun to go down, then come to the roof. We'll settle this there, like gentlemen and ladies. What if I don't show? Oh, it forces me to show, okay. The sun dips below the horizon, mist coalesces, coating the rooftop in dew. Ku Feng and her cohorts appear. Are you prepared to become my servant, human? You must not resist or I'll be forced to kill you. Should it come to that? I'll endeavor to make it swift and painless, but no promises. Uh, let's see what you've got. This will be entertaining. Kill him! Alright, how many dudes do we have? A lot of dudes. Remarkable number of dudes. There's a dragon line right here. Oh, you know what? I should go to this dragon line. I should step back and let them come to me, I think. I didn't expect to have to fight. Um... You will come here? Are you flanking him now? Mercy kill... Less than 29% HP... 77 and 92? Sweet. Um... Rat Shaman, I need to be careful about... Isabel, I need to be careful about grenades. 64. I'm very good. Gobbit. Uh, 
Um, 61. Oh, please, Corbin. You blast him with the flamethrower. And then get back into cover. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna like move back and bait them forward is the plan. I'm glad they're all bunched up like that. Oh. Oh come on. Why did that guy run so far? Alright, so I'm gonna AOE here, right? How many can I hit? Two, one, two, three, three. She has a lot of health. She has a remarkable amount of health. Oh, I have a grenade launcher. Right, very good. Nobody summoned anything yet. Huh? Alright, so let me spray... Oh, it doesn't do very much damage. Can I full auto? I don't... S oh, she's got regeneration. It's not gonna kill her. Is it gonna kill him? Yes. Alright, let's uh, thin them out. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Oh. Ah. All right, I'm getting I'm getting punched a little bit. Let me heal me. Apparently, I'm out of ammo. Or I will be out of ammo soon. I don't think I should spray over there, but I need to do something about this problem. You, Duncan. Alright, great. I'm gonna like rotate around, get away from these guys. Um, this is gonna hit my own dudes. This will leave the red shaman open. Oh, come on, please kill him. Ow, oh, alright, she's, she's gone, she's done. She's completely out in the open. Oh, why'd she do that? <laughs> All right, they missed. Good. Good for me. They missed. What should I do here? Full auto coupe. Oh, not bad. Not enough, but not bad. Oh, please, please, Isabel. Let me guess. Um, let me not gas, not yet. How do I get out of... Let me, like... Run behind? Oh, I can't gas. It's, it's too much movement point. Oh, no! That was a mistake. Three's not gonna kill... Well, that was a mistake. Alright, reload. It's gonna be a problem. Oh, I blocked it. <laughs> no! I refuse to use a trauma kit. Damn it. How do I load? How far back was I? I refuse to use a trauma kit.
Uh, spell casting. I think I know your secret. Get to know first. Finish the job. Deal with midnight works for me. If I win, you already be dead. Uh, let's see what you've got. Alright, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Let me save. I'm gonna run myself back here. Stand on the dragon line. Duncan? You can come around that way, that's a bit of a problem. Isabel 4964 Sucks to suck, am I right? Red Shaman We can hit those guys actually. Let me move Duncan a little further back this time. <laughs> Sucks to suck! believe there's combat in this mission. I think we can avoid this. If we choose the the dialogue options differently, we can avoid the combat probably. Oh wait a minute. Civilians? Are we supposed to avoid killing the civilians? Cause these are under her control. Oh we should avoid killing the civilians maybe. If we only kill her... Hold on, not again. If we only kill her... Do the, the civilians... Like... Is she mind controlling them? Can we free the civilians? Is she mind controlling them? Ku Fang. <laughs> uh, only hit got five damage on her though. Fifty one. Well, that's impressive. 52, 42. This is like really ambitious, right? 60. But if I can tank this turn. Ow. If I can tank this turn and kill her next turn. Maybe this will work. Right, flamethrower. Except the chain. <laughs> the chaining is. Oh, this is zero cooldown because I'm standing on the on the dragon line. Sweet. Except the yeah the chaining is gonna kill these people. Full auto. No, I wanna improve aim on you. And then I wanna mark target. Oh, that sucked. Now you're gonna full auto. Not quite. Tank another hit, right? Oh, come on, you guys. Ah, oh, minus two AP! Alright, we know. Nice. 
I don't even know if if just killing her is enough. Maybe we we maybe just killing her is not enough. It's the best way to do this. Alright, that gives me healing per round. I'm gonna... Go forward. Mark her. Great. You're gonna... Increase aim. And you're gonna... Oh, come on. Full auto... All right. <laughs> it's so Bell's tanking everything. <laughs> All right, she's gonna die if, if we don't finish this. All right, fireball. Fireball. Oh, please don't suck. Yeah, we, this is not gonna work. Well, maybe I can just sacrifice Isabel. Oh. Isabel! What? <laughs> she just double critted for 30 damage. Kufeng's calm and haughty demeanor dissolves as her eyes grow wild. Wait, wait, I surrender, don't kill me. Uh... What's wrong? Not feeling so powerful now. 